In Western Norway, scientists are testing autonomous devices that can detect and understand what is happening underwater. Inside we have an electronics for sensing and also for processing. That means we can do some local processing like if we want to detect the ship or where is the leakage of the oil pipe. We can just do everything here and then this one will send the signal out to the control center or central station. Gas bubbles may be a symptom of a failing pipeline. A sensor node recognizes the sound of bubbles and alerts engineers to a possible leak. But would it work on a large scale, deep in the oceans? A European research project aims to build a functioning network for acoustic surveillance. We position underwater sensor devices. Um, they go into the water, deep into the water, and they monitor the environment. And if they see anything which is wrong, they will communicate with each other and then raise an alarm if needed uh, to the shore. A number of specially developed sensor nodes are placed hundreds of meters down on the seabed at a distance from each other. Each unit is completely autonomous. They have a built-in battery so there is no need for a power cable, meaning deployment is far cheaper. This device is a big device. It's a device intended for deep water, up to a few kilometers deep. Uh, you can see it on the packaging, casing, and also on the electronics. It's also intended for high reliability, so high range, high throughput, and high quality. The nodes can talk to each other using acoustic signals. In the control room on board ship, computer engineers are monitoring the speed of a coded message being communicated between the nodes through the whole underwater network. That's the important concept of this network. You don't just do point-to-point -point communication. Instead, all devices in the network cooperate to accomplish challenging tasks. Like here, we have several devices that aren't able to talk to each other directly, but they collaborate in order to deliver the information to the central control station monitoring the network. Once an underwater sensor detects a leak, it transmits the coordinates using sound waves. Other nodes receive and then retransmit the signal, so passing it along the chain of beacons. To access the network from the surface, researchers use floating communication buoys that convert acoustic messages into radio signals. Yes. We can now hear actually the uh, acoustic modem sending signals towards the seabed in order to, uh, it can actually ask uh, the, the seabed nodes what is your current status and it sends back information. The reason we are, why we are using acoustic signals in the seabed is because electromagnetic waves do not propagate well in, in salt water. In the future, acoustic networks could be used for many tasks such as underwater navigation, tracking sea animals, or protecting oil pipelines and drilling platforms from accidents. The system can potentially make the world much more safer, environmental friendlier, so we can detect any event. So for example, the BP, the BP oil spoil some time ago, um, this could have been prevented. Research is continuing to improve the reliability and efficiency of the underwater surveillance system.